on the last video. Oh God! And so it continues. Such a brave boy. Barney, sweetheart. Can you hear me? Barney? Barney, for fuck's sake. Why are you doing this to me? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Wish there was something I could do. Something I could give him. Anything. Just a token gesture. But... But what? What can I do? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um... Barney, do you... Do you want your a car? Maybe? Here, sweetheart. Hold on to this. You gave this to me once, and it made me feel better. Fuck. Do you, um... Do you... Television? Do you maybe want to watch some TV? If it... It's just static. Radio? Uh, maybe I can make it warmer? No. To, um... Fuck! Barney, sweetheart. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Um... Grown. Oh, sweetheart. Does it hurt? Slowly nods. I don't know what to do, Barney. What do you want me to do? Barney. Oh. Barney. Shit, 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 shit. Um. Uh. Box? Is there anything in there? It's a toy chest, nothing in them anymore. Gun rack? There's nothing in there. Table? Shit! Barney! Um. Fuck, man. Do I leave? I just left my son alone and he's sick. He could be dead soon. Fuck! <sighs> this isn't good. Okay. Maybe I could go to the lake? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the lake. I've never been religious, but... I suppose if there's a time to give it a go. Oh, that's... That's not the lake, but I guess it'll do. Let's... Let's pray, I guess. What am I supposed to do? I just need someone to tell me. I don't know anymore. Oh, God. Look at me. I'm standing in a... A fucking weather station, or whatever this eventually was. Just talking to myself. But the Lord will hear. Wait. Who's there? You seem uncomfortable being here. I have good reason. A church is a safe place. It's a haven from the horrors that exist outside. In here, no one will judge you. And nothing can harm you. I don't think the elements respect religion too much. Nor do the gangs, for that matter. And anyway, wasn't this place converted into a weather station? Ah, but you can find God's presence anywhere you choose. I don't believe in God. Hell, if I did before, I certainly don't now. I'm sorry if you felt like I was pressuring you to believe. That isn't why I'm here. Then why are you here? Just sitting in the confessional, waiting for people to come by. I'm here because we're all in this boat together, sailing toward our destiny. I'm here because people need someone to be here. After all, you came. I sense a person who is desperate, confused maybe. <laughs> you could say that. Come. Speak with me. Oh. 
No, I, I don't do confession. I'm not a Catholic. I don't believe. This isn't about Catholicism. This isn't about faith. It isn't even about confession. To confess, you need sins. And is anything truly sinful anymore? Exactly. So, come. You don't mind my asking, but I do prefer to address people by name. You don't have to give me a real one, of course. No, no, it's okay. I'm Alice. Alice. So, tell me, Alice, what would you like to discuss? Barney. Sonny's. Go on. He's sick. Like, really sick. He needs medication so badly, but at this stage, I don't even know if it would help. And I mean, you don't have any, do you? He's so unwell. Do you know where I can find some medication? You, you must. You help people, right? That's what you do. Right? Sai. Alice. I'm very sorry, but... I don't think anyone has seen any kind of medication for months now. And if you could source any... What do you think it would be? Simply lying on the floor for anyone to pick up? The gangs have monopolized it. You pay hundreds for a single pill. No one has that sort of money. Well, quite. Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. He's going to die. He's already dying. What am I going to do? We're all each other has, and I just... He's in so much pain. You can tell. He can't move. He can't speak. All he does is sleep or moan in agony. I can't take it anymore. But, but then what would I do without him? Surely, though, you've coped with loss before. What the fuck? This is different. This is my son. How old is your child, Alice? He's five. <laughs> Why do you laugh? If he were here... If he could speak, he'd be telling me off right now. Five and a half, he'd say. Huh. Children in their pedentry, especially when it comes to months on their age. So he's five and a half. Is he aware of what's going on? Or rather, was he? Before he became unwell. Barely. Maybe? I don't know. He must have had an idea, but... I always try to protect him from the world. He was born into a world that was rapidly going to shit. By the time he could form memories, everything was completely fucked. He barely remembers his dad. For most of his life, we either lived in a horrible, dirty shelter, or we were homeless. I often wish I'd never brought him into this world. Hell, oh, I've even wished I could take him out of it. No, I... I can't think like that. Can I? It's natural for a mother to want to protect her child. Even if it would mean something unthinkable. No one can tell you how to deal with this, Alice. It's one of those things in life that you must work out for yourself. But... And I know you don't believe, and I'm not pressuring you to do so. I know that God will help you make the right choices. So who the hell are you? Who are you? What's your story? If this isn't about faith, 
Are you even a priest? Why do you ask? Funnily enough, I have trouble trusting people these days. I'm a man. A survivor. Just like you. Sometimes when it's safe, I take walks by the lake or visit the graveyard. And that's all you do. No capturing or killing or... No. No. Rest assured, I have no intention of doing anything like that. Not unless I truly have to. There are people who'd have you believe they truly have to and do that every day. They're scum. I hate them all. Ah, but for all our differences, we're all the same, aren't we? We're all just trying to exist for another day. See the sunrise in the morning, then see it set once more. But survival makes people do terrible things. Terrible is suggestive. Of what do you speak? My son and I were held captive in a basement for days. We've been attacked. Just a few weeks ago, some men tried to take him from this very building. My partner was killed by a mob of men who were stealing from us. They took our food. We barely had enough as it was. I think I have a pretty good idea of what terrible means. What do you kill in order to stay alive? What? People are only responsible for their actions for as long as they're in control of a situation, wouldn't you say? I... I don't. After which point, we turn to our instincts to get by. We are but animals, Alice. We do what we need to do. So you'd kill me now if, say, we had food and you were hungry. I'd try to reason with you. I'd see if we could trade. Most of all, I'd invite you to share what I had, in the hope that you would reciprocate. And if I had nothing, Alice, you must understand. These are not times at which we can always afford to think for too long. I assure you, though, you are safe here. Thanks, guy behind the window. How about this church? Do you come here often? To the church, I mean. I'm here quite a lot, yes. I've been for a while, in fact. Oh? What, since before it was a weather station? Around the same time, perhaps. But for me, it's always been both. Not one or the other. I worked here for a time. Wow. A religious scientist, huh? I believe the two can coexist. I am no fool, Alice. I don't dispute the systems that have delivered to us all these years of snowfall. I don't believe it to be a punishment from above, as many do. I believe it is something we have to do our best to cope with. So, what? You're trying to turn this place back into a church again? Well, as I say, my belief is that science and spirituality can exist side by side. And sometimes people come, and I do what I can. I can watch the snow. I can observe the weather, the way it changes subtly, but substantially enough to make a difference. The temperature, the wind, and when I'm not doing anything, I can pray. I can help others who are seeking guidance, or just a conversation to pass the lonely hours. For all the mess here, it really is a beautiful little building. I have to say, not too grand. Just right. It feels homely somehow. I've always thought the same. It's one of the reasons I enjoyed it when my work brought me here. In fact, it always felt homelier than when we were actually housed. The building of the way, or the other side of the woods. That building, and this place too. I've seen some nasty things in their time. But then, it's all about survival. About seeing another day. You're a weird man. But I like you. Tell me about the weather. I guess we could talk about the weather. It sounds like the biggest cliche in the world, but I suppose it's pretty apt. Unlike many, 
I never tire of talking about the weather. How did all this happen? How could we have missed it? For all the technology know-how that we have, and for all the scientific advancements that we've made, there are still things we miss. In fact, the weather has always moved in mysterious ways. Humanity used to believe it was sent from a higher power in order to praise or punish us. Today, we know otherwise, but in many ways, it's almost like a god in itself. It has the power to give life and to take it away. It's funny to think, isn't it, that some parts of the world are uninhabitable because it's too hot. At least, I assume that's still the case. Yes, as far as I know. Acres of blistering desert, so parched that nothing can survive. I suppose we have a lucky. Luck isn't a word I'd use right now. Actually, I'd better go. I'm sorry, I just... I need to get out of here. Very well. Tell me, if you do not wish to speak with God, is there anyone you could speak with? Since Barney got sick, no, there's no one, <laughs> except my partner, I suppose. Barney made me talk to a grave a while ago. It's not even his. Barney doesn't know that, but I just wanted to help. And did it. Did it what? Help. Him? Probably. Me? Actually... I don't know. You know what? Maybe it did. Perhaps you should talk to your partner now. I'm a firm believer in the value of family. Your partner will always be the person for him to seek guidance. Maybe you're right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Alice. I'm not here to tell you what to believe. We have free will for a reason, and your views are just as valid as mine or anyone else's. You should always follow those beliefs. However, I hope you may take some solace in the knowledge that I will be praying for you. And I do believe, even if things seem bleak, or if they become unfathomably hard to handle, that there is someone looking out for you. Someone guiding the way. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Hey. Christ, I feel stupid. It's not even you down there. I don't know if you even got a proper fucking burial. I'm sorry, we... Couldn't exactly stick around. I don't know who's really down there. This whole place is full of unmarked graves. I suppose it doesn't matter. Just... Party. Mark, our son is sick. Really, really sick. I tried to help him. Christ, I fucking tried. And I'm sure some of this is my fault, but look at it. Look at the state of this fucking world. If it hadn't been pneumonia, it'd have been something else. I found medicine, but it was no good. The only people around for miles are mercenaries and murderers. There's nobody left to turn to. He's suffering, Mark. And I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I can't stand to see him go through this. Do you remember? Early in our relationship, my depression came back. I was going to take my own life. You came over unexpectedly that night, found me there. Pills in hand. Do you remember what you made me promise? That no matter what, I never give up on myself again. That I keep living, 
For you? For myself? For the first time in years, I feel like breaking that promise. Then I remember your face that night. I remember how I broke your heart. And I can't. But then I look at Barney, and I see that special, amazing, wonderful life that we created together. And I look at him now, and he's suffering, Mark. And he's not going to stop suffering. I don't know what I can do to stop it. You'd know. You always know. What the hell should I do? I miss you so fucking much. Not a day goes by when I don't. Why did you have to be so goddamn brave? Why did you have to go and do the right thing? Why can't it have rubbed off on me? If you were here right now, you'd put your arm around me and tell me your plan. You knew what to do. You always did. Hell, if you were here right now, maybe this wouldn't have happened at all. Barney wouldn't be sick, and we wouldn't be stuck here in the middle of the fucking power play between God knows who. This is all your goddamn fault, you know. <laughs> you always had things sorted. Always knew the best way forward. The world no longer has a place for people like you, Mark. It's all just chaos these days. Maybe it's better you're not around to see it. I should never have been a mother, should I? You always said to me, Alice, that'll be fine once he comes along. Stop fretting. Well, that turned out well, didn't it? You couldn't make this up. You were always my rock, always telling me everything was gonna be alright, that I'd do okay, that I'd be a good mother. And you know what's the worst part? The worst goddamn part of all this. I know exactly what you'd say if you were here. You would tell me I'm stronger than I think. That I don't give myself enough credit. That I'm far too hard on myself. You always did that. Looks like I finally proved you wrong, huh? It doesn't feel like a victory at all. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Answer me, you fucker. Answer me! So this is how it is. This is how it ends. feeling, sweetie. Oh. God. Christ. Barney, sweetheart. Your mommy's brave, fierce lion. You've made me happier than anything else in this world. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry we brought you into this hell. You deserve better, Barney. We all did. Barney, I... I love you. Very, very much. <gasps> oh, no, no.
Fuck. God damn it.